So the video we're going to be doing today um, is about the relationship between the sine and cosine ratios of complementary angles. So let's just have a little refresher on complementary angles. Those are angles that add up to be 90 degrees. Earlier in the year we talked about complementary angles versus supplementary angles. Supplementary angles add up to be 180. Complementary angles add up to be 90. So we're going to look at the relationship between sine and cosine in this 30-60-90 triangle. I chose this one because we've already uh, used 30-60-90 triangles and you know how to easily find the side lengths. So here you can see that I chose for the short leg to be a length of 2. Once I knew the short leg was 2, that meant that the hypotenuse had to be 4 because the hypotenuse is always double the short leg. Also, I know that the long leg has to be 2 square root 3 because the long leg is always the short leg times the square root of 3. So we're going to look at the sine of 30 degrees and the cosine of 30 degrees. And we're also going to look at the sine of 60 degrees and the cosine of 60 degrees. So I'm going to, let's label our sides using 30 as our reference angle. That means that this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse. So for sine of 30, that is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's 2 over 4. So in the calculator, I should get 0.5. So 30, sine 30 is 0.5. So that one was pretty easy. Now, cosine of 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 2 square root 3 over 4. The calculator is going to tell me what the decimal equivalent of that is, which is 0.87. Now, let's look at sine of 60. Now, that means that we have to completely rename our sides. Our hypotenuse, yeah, it gets to stay the same, but when we change our reference angle to 60, we now have a different opposite and an adjacent. This is now my opposite and this is my adjacent. So what do you notice happened? Basically they switched, right? So sine of 60 now is opposite over hypotenuse. That's 2 square root 3 over 4. Well, I'm going to put that in the calculator, but I'm pretty sure it's going to come up as 0.87. So 60 cosine or sine is 0.87. Okay, so let's look at cosine of 60. That's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. That's 2 over 4. That's going to be 0.5 when I put it into the calculator. So looking at these, what are you noticing about the relationships between the sine and the cosine of complementary angles? So let's look at the sine of 30 and the cosine of its complementary angle. They're the same. Then look at the cosine of 30 and the sine of 60. They're the same. Now, why did this happen? Well, what happens is when you change to the complementary angle, you're changing your opposite and your adjacent. And when that happens, it makes the sine of 30 become the same as the cosine of 60 because the opposite and the adjacent changed places. So let's see if this holds true for all triangles. So here we have a 75, 15, 90 triangle. I am not going to give you side links for this. We're simply going to look at the relationships between the sine of 75, the cosine of 15, and then look at the cosine of 75 and the sine of 15. So cosine of 75 is going to give me 0.26. I didn't leave a whole lot of room there, sorry. Put a line here, make a little table. And then the cosine of 15 is 0.97. All right, now, if this holds true, that means 
that the sine of 75 should have been the same as the cosine of 15. So what do you think happened? Let's try it again. So using the calculator, we're going to do sine 75. We get 0.97. I must have put it in the calculator wrong. I'm not going to redo my whole video because I put it in the calculator wrong. 0.97. So they are equal. Now, same thing should be true with cosine of 75. So cosine of 75 is 0.25. So there's where my 0.2 is 0.258, so it's 0.26. There's where my 0.26 came from. And then sine of 15 is 0.26. Now, this is all coming from questions that you might get when you're not allowed to use a calculator. So let's use this one as an example. So your question on a non-calculator portion of the EOC might be, if the cosine of 27 is 0.89, what is the sine of 63. Now what you have to say is okay well these are sine and cosine so I know that they have a relationship and I know that the sine and cosine of complementary angles have to be equal. These are indeed complementary angles. That means that if I, even if I don't have a calculator I can say that the sine of 63 has to be 0.89 as well. So that's the video. I know it went a little bit over. It tends to happen a lot here lately. Um, but we've got some complicated concepts we've been doing. So what you take away from this video is that the sine and cosine of complementary angles are always the same. Now go check out the questions, get those answered, and you're good to go.